So you've turned on your PlayStation 4, and all you see is this screen. Well first, do exactly what it's telling you to do. Grab your DualShock 4 controller, connect it with the USB cable, and hit the PS button. Now you have a bunch of options. What should you do next? First, you should rebuild your database. Rebuilding the PlayStation database can fix any errors that are causing the PlayStation to not boot properly. If that doesn't work, you're going to want to choose option number 7. Initialize PlayStation 4, in parentheses, reinstall system software. When you select this option, it's going to ask you to connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 9.00 or later. It may have a later version, 9.0, it might say 8.5, it might be an older version that it's asking you to reinstall. It doesn't matter, you're just going to need to get the latest reinstallation file on a USB. Let me show you how to do that really quick. First, turn on your computer. All right, so to create your PlayStation reinstallation file, just go ahead and type in PlayStation 4 reinstallation. Cool, now it's gonna give you this option right here. Click this one. The first one is fine. Reinstall PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 system software using blah, 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 blah. Before you reset, have you tried these steps? I already told you the steps. Don't worry about it. Anyways, what we want is this one here. PlayStation 4 reinstall system software. Click on that. So this one here is for an update file. We don't want the update file. We want the reinstallation file. So click that. Just save that wherever you want. I'll put this one in, into the downloads folder and it's gonna take a little bit of time to download. Now let me show you the most important part of this process. The so next thing we gotta do is plug in our USB first time and you need to set your USB up exactly like this. You need to format it as FAT32 for the file system. Then you need a folder labeled PS4 just like this. Then you need a folder labeled update. Then within update, that's where you want to put in the file we are downloading right now, which is ps4update.pup. Once you have that done, you're good to go. As long as you have the file structure formatted properly, you shouldn't have any issues with the update. Now that you have successfully created a PlayStation 4 reinstall USB, go ahead and install the USB. First try. And now that the USB is plugged in, you can go ahead and hit OK, and then do the reinstallation. So both of these things, rebuilding the database and reinstalling the PlayStation software, do take quite a bit of time, and there still is a chance that it's not going to work. And if that does happen, that likely means that your hard drive is bad. If you found this video to be helpful, let me know in the comments. If you thought it wasn't helpful at all, well use the instructions that PlayStation gives you, and stop asking me. Have a good day!